OpenAI's new chatbot, ChatGPT, is generating a lot of buzz on the internet for its ability to write poetry, screenplays, and essays. The technology behind it, GPT-3, has been around for a few years, but this is the first time it has been made widely available to the public. People are having fun experimenting with creative prompts, but some are also finding practical uses for it such as drafting code or detecting errors. Some experts believe that ChatGPT could potentially compete with Google by providing better answers to search queries. Google and ChatGPT, the new chatbot from OpenAI, work differently. Google crawls billions of web pages, indexes the content, and ranks it according to relevance. It then provides a list of links to click through. ChatGPT, on the other hand, is trained on millions of websites and can provide a single answer based on its own search and synthesis of information. This means it can hold a human-like conversation and provide information that is more specific and useful than Google's search results. According to a comparison test, ChatGPT's answers were more useful than Google's in 13 out of 18 examples. Useful in this context means answers that are clear and comprehensive. In a comparison test, ChatGPT provided more detailed and specific answers than Google in 13 out of 18 examples. For example, ChatGPT provided a detailed explanation of how condensed milk would lead to a sweeter pie when asked which milk is better for pumpkin pie during Thanksgiving, while Google mainly provided a list of recipe links. This highlights ChatGPT's potential threat to Google, as it provides a single, immediate response that requires no further scanning of other websites, offering a frictionless experience which is highly valued by online consumers who prefer quick and easy-to-use services. Google does have its own feature that provides summarized answers to some queries, but they are usually brief and compiled from the highest-ranked web page. Google also has its own proprietary language model called LaMDA which is very advanced and an engineer thought that it was sentient. However, Google does not generate its own singular answers to queries like ChatGPT because it would negatively impact Google's business model, which relies heavily on ads. Google's revenue comes primarily from advertising, specifically pay-per-click ads, and if people are not scanning search results, they will not be exposed to as many ads, which would hurt Google's revenue. Sridhar Ramaswamy, former head of Google's ads and commerce business, believes that generative search systems like ChatGPT will disrupt Google's traditional search business by providing a better user experience. He states that the goal of Google search is to get users to click on links, particularly ads, and that all other text on the page is just filler. Ramaswamy is the co-founder of Neva, a subscription-based search engine which is planning to launch its own generative search feature that can summarize web pages, with footnotes, in the near future. He believes that this will be a better experience for users and will disrupt Google's traditional search business in a significant way. ChatGPT's biggest weakness is that it does not reveal the sources of its information and its creators may not be able to explain how it generates its answers. This can lead to inaccuracies and errors in the responses. This was seen when Stack Overflow, a question and answer site for coders, temporarily banned its users from sharing advice from ChatGPT on Monday, stating that the answers provided by the system were often incorrect. This was also observed in an example of a 12-year-old's English essay question, where ChatGPT provided a long and eloquent analysis that sounded authoritative, but was also riddled with mistakes and inaccuracies. One of the major concerns with ChatGPT's inaccuracies is that they are difficult to detect, especially when the system sounds so confident in its responses. Stack Overflow states that the answers typically look like they might be good and OpenAI has acknowledged that they are often plausible. Initially, OpenAI had trained the system to be more cautious, but this resulted in the system declining questions it knew the answer to. By adjusting the settings, the system can produce answers that sound convincing but may contain inaccuracies, similar to a student bluffing through an essay without studying. It is unclear how frequent ChatGPT's mistakes are, with estimates ranging from 2% to 5%. This uncertainty may make internet users hesitant to rely on ChatGPT for important information. Google's search business is still relatively safe as it mostly makes money from transactional search queries for products and navigational searches to other sites such as Facebook and YouTube. These types of queries make up many of the top 100 Google searches of 2022. As long as ChatGPT does not offer links to other sites, it is not currently a major threat to Google's search business. However, 
This could change over time as OpenAI continues to improve and expand the training of ChatGPT's model to include more current parts of the web. OpenAI is also working on a system called WebGPT that aims to provide more accurate answers to search queries, including source citations. A combination of ChatGPT and WebGPT could potentially provide a powerful alternative to Google. It is worth noting that ChatGPT is already providing more accurate answers than OpenAI's earlier systems. ChatGPT has achieved remarkable success, amassing 1 million users in just 5 days. This is a significant achievement, as it took Instagram 2.5 months and Facebook 10 months to reach that number of users. OpenAI has not publicly commented on the future applications of ChatGPT, but if the chatbot starts to share links to other websites, particularly those that sell products, it could become a significant threat to Google's search business.